So I don't do a lot of Wraith perk builds, but this is probably one of my favorite perk builds. Out of all the perk builds I do, one of my favorite, not my favorite, but this is definitely my favorite Wraith perk build to do. So what we're doing today is we're doing the Speed Wraither build, which consists of the two add-ons which allow me to run faster while I'm cloaked, along with perks that make me also run faster during different points of the game. And I switched out Ruin with Devour Hope because it gives me that haste boost. And I also get to do like one hit downs during the game and then Mori people. So I want to see how well that goes. What we got is we got barbecue and chili. So when any survivor is 40 meters or more away, unless they're in a locker, when I hook a survivor, then I see their auras for four seconds and a stackable bonus of 25% up to 100% for blood points. Then we got no one escapes death. So at the end of the game, when all the generators are powered and the exit gates are powered, then all the survivors suffer from the exposed effect until the totem is broken or unless it's already broken. And my movement speed is also increased by 4%, which also helps a lot, adds to the speed racer. Then we got play with your food, so I can get up the three stacks and my movement speed is increased by 5% for each stack that I have, so up to a maximum of 15% movement speed. And then every single time that I make an offensive action, my stacks decrease by one. And then we got Devour Hope. So at two tokens, gain a 5% haste status effect for 10 seconds after hooking a survivor for a duration of 10 seconds. So it helps me run faster also. Three tokens, all survivors suffer from the exposed effect until the totem is broken. Five tokens, I get to kill survivors like a Mori until the totem is broken. And then for add-ons, we got Double Windstorm, starting with Windstorm Blood tremendously increases the Wraith's movement speed while cloaked slightly decreases movement speed while uncloaking and then windstorm white considerably increases movement speed while cloaked slightly decreases movement speed while uncloaking makes it a little bit harder but what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to body block them before they get to windows and pallets and shit like that and for an offering give them a bloody party streamer why not if you guys get blood points during it then good on you but i want blood points too so let's go be a wraith card this might be a little hard because there's lots of corridors, so it's a, a little hard for me to get in front of people. Look how fast I go. I don't even know how fast I go with, like, max stacks of play with your food and devour hope on. And no one escapes death. Like, pfft. But I'm hoping for this totem not to break. He like, oh, my obsession has thing on. Uh-oh, has no mither on. Uh. Where are you going? Let's kick this before we go and uh, put him to a hook. Someone's breaking something! I hear that totem breaking. He was upstairs breaking the totem. I did not want to hit him. I actually tried to hit him. I'll go leave him on the floor. Actually, since I'm going to chase him, I need my Devour Hope stack. I heard someone breaking a totem. I know I did. Tell me he's gonna leave. What is he? What? What's going on? Oh, there's a hook here. No one gonna get him? Okay. Where's the other guy? I haven't seen the obsession yet, so no idea where he is. I would like to find him so I could farm some stacks.
Give me stacks, give me stacks. I want to eat all your stacks. All right, there's a second stack for that. Which way do you go? Oh. I'm too fast, I have no idea where I'm going. I was really hoping that he was gonna stay in that box so I can pull him off of it, but he didn't. He doesn't have decisive, so I don't have to worry about that. gonna do with that firecracker, huh? I'll break this. <laughs> you should have jumped through that. Oh, now everyone's gonna know. Oh, I should have pulled him off. I could have just pulled him off of that. Now everyone's gonna know. See where everyone's at. Go fly over. Doesn't matter where I go, as long as no one's on the totem. Someone was here. He went this way. Well, you're screwed. <laughs> you knew he was done. There was nowhere for him to go. Someone, they're, they're all around me. No one's over there. I'm not gonna chase him because this guy's just gonna get up, so I might as well hook him and then I can chase him if I can see scratch marks still. He went this way, didn't he? Oh, he killed himself. Pretty sure he might have went this way to go save the other guy. Unless he didn't. Oh, he did. Huh. Not a lot of stuff to do. Just gotta go chase this guy down. Hope he doesn't kill himself before I get up to him. Didn't even get the end game to use the no one escapes death, but I still got to use the that the that the, 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 the devour hope. I don't really care that much for morying people with the devour hope. I care more about the haste part and you know the the one hit downing people during the game. But if it does get to the end of the game and they break my devour hope. And at least I have my no one escapes death, but I kind of want to get to a game where it gets to the end of the game and I have my devour hope and my no one escapes death, but I doubt that's going to happen. And three stacks. Can't forget about the three stacks. At least we got some blood points while we're at it. This map might actually be pretty good for this. Lots of places to run around and... But it's just that the totem is on the killer shack. That's never a good thing. Ever. My obsession. Nice. So we can f farm off of this guy right now. Nice. 
Well, you went right past that, that, uh, that pallet there. He does not have decisive. That's good. There's a guy over here. I'm gonna get him off of this, Jen. And I'm so fast that I can get there faster than a Billy can get there. I need to bring him away from my basement. I'm not putting him in the basement. Because I don't want people going over here and uh, getting that totem that fast. I want the totem to at least be there for a little tiny bit. They're all over there, so that's okay. Break this. Then we'll make our way over there. Probably see someone on the way. Fuck. He's getting too close. Nice. One second. This guy's gonna go back to his gen, and I kinda don't want that. Where'd he go? Oh. Oh, I got sucked away from it. He doesn't have um da -da 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 um dead hard, so that's okay. We hook this guy, we go get him. Nice. And now we can go ahead and start one hitting people. Nice. Let's hope there's no one on that gen or that totem over there. Now we'll put him in the basement. Because I don't want him necessarily getting found or getting saved. But if he does get saved... Wait. There's someone close. Well, he just killed himself, so... It's okay with me. I wonder if someone's going to fly right downstairs. Oh, I see him up there to save him or if they're gonna try and break that totem first because if they break the totem first I'll know they're there he's gonna go to my totem I'm going back for him Well, might as well kill. Ah! 
Might as well. He's still around here. I don't think he went far. Stay away from my totem! It's mine! At least we we're getting use out of this devour hope. We're not using the uh, the hooking part of it anymore because... We're gonna hook this guy to see if we can find this other guy. Maybe he won't get inside of a, a, a thing. Oh. Either the close or he's inside of a locker. He was definitely inside of a locker. It's over here. scared me. I don't know why, but it scared me. Well, he's screwed. <clears throat> At least he's not going the right way. You broke my totem, I wanted a Mori. 75% of you guys, at least. Well, it's what rank reset is, to be totally honest. I'll be doing something special soon. I just don't know what, but something special soon. I'm not expecting anything different in these uh, in these ranks, to be totally honest, until we get back up. But we'll have to wait and see. It's a good game, though. I'm just all about this money. I don't think about no thighs. No Girl, you don't know about me, so get off my fucking D. Born and raised in the thigh. This is real as you gon' see. Girl, you don't know about me, so get off my fucking D.